good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another exciting episode of the Paul Brown Show. This evening, my guest, a special guest, his name is Slimmy. How you doing there, sir? How you doing? How you doing, ah, Tell the audience a little bit about yourself. Uh, well, my name is Slimmy. I was born and raised in Charlotte. Uh, you know, I've been doing music since I was about eight. Well, you know, write music. And, and you know, so now I'm, I'm working, trying to take it, well, I've been taking it serious for a while, but now it's like, I feel like now I'm ready to put out, put out a project I feel like that's going to, to help, 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 help people, you know, like in a positive way. My other, my other music was like more, more negative, you know, so I feel like I'm trying to do something a little different. Okay. You know. So what inspired you to be a recording artist? Uh, my dad was a DJ, so I always been around music, and it's I just felt like I don't know. It was like ever since I was a kid, it's like right here the music, right here, it's like it's all started from R and B, and you know, so therefore right here the music is like I felt it, and so now it's like I just like I don't know. I just just feel it, and and I just love to do it, and it's like it and it, it helps me get through a lot. Like if I'm going through something, I don't and if I don't even know what it is, I just feel heavy and I go listen to some beats and, and after that it come out and I'm like, oh, that what was wrong with me. I was thinking about that. So it, it actually helped me. It's therapeutic. Okay, so who would you consider to be some of your influential recording artists of the day and of the past? Oh, oh, Tupac. Tupac oh. Shakur. Okay. And uh, you know, I like Biggie too, you know, but Tupac is that person, like, when I hear it, it's like an R&B song. It's like, no matter how he say what he say, it's like, I feel it, you know? But Big, I like, I like him for his creativity, you know? And, and yeah, definitely Lil Wayne, right? Lil Wayne, like, yeah, as far as the way that he flows and the way that he put words together, right? So I feel like those three, those three, and oh yeah, and, and T.I. T.I. Yeah, T.I. Because what he stand for as a man and how he, how he carry himself today, and, you know, and talk about, you know, talk about real life situations, what he done been through, and then you, then he let he open up, and you can see his life like a person. You can see a person that's that's done had hard times, but he can, he's now a man, and sure. so therefore I look at him like a great rapper, but you also a man to take care of your kids, and he shows that not not ashamed of, because I feel like I ain't ashamed of my kids, so I don't I can't even mess with them. If you so you open up and let your kids see, I look at you differently different. So. I know um, sometimes hip hop music they get like a bad, you know, a bad kind of like image. They're considered like a bad image to some people. Why do you feel they get that bad rap? Uh, I feel like everybody human, you know, and I feel like you know if they if you coming from something, if you coming from something and you told to to represent where you come from, and so where you come from. I heard Master P say controversy sells. So not necessarily that they want to to reflect on that. You can tell about it, but they say if you ain't if you're not telling that, you ain't gonna make no money. So therefore, you know, they wanna see how real you is. The the more the the bad person you seem, the with the image that you portray. And you might really be a good person, but you gotta tell it. And you know what I'm saying? You might be a good person, but you might have went a good person in certain parts of your life. So they might not be doing that right now, but they might be talking about when they did do it, you know? And some of them just made up, you know? And those right there, I even give them credit because if you can make up that much stuff, then I gotta give you some credit because that's, that's genius to me, uh, you know what I mean? Yes, sir. I look yes, at it different. Yeah. Now you look at today's artists like <clears throat> Jay-Z, mm -hmm. P. Diddy, the ones that really started off small and now are multi-millionaires. How does that, you know, what, how does that, how do you feel when you see artists like that? I be like, you know, I feel like it's amazing, you know, and I be like, well, I want to do it too, you know what I mean? Ain't no envy or no jealousy. I'm like, if he can do it, and if it's like, what drove them to do it? Like, how did they strategize to get to where they was at, you know, or what doors was opening? Like, but one thing I can say is like, you never know, and I learned this from a lady at church. She was like, you never know what someone someone took to get to where they was at. Like, Correct. you don't know if, you know, if they took it a God way, they done did some secret in the closet or anything. So I don't think I could just be like, hey, they did it, but I'm gonna do it too. And I'm gonna do it in a way that I feel like, you know, I talk to God, so I'm like, you know, I'm gonna do it that way. You know what I'm saying? Not saying I'm gonna be perfect or nothing, not at all, but 
I know when I, if I, if they see me blessed, then I know where they got it from. I don't know where they got that from. I'm not saying that they did, right. but I just worry about about me. But you know, shout out to them, definitely. Now, when you, I mean, to the young artists, what kind of advice would you give them? You know, because we have a lot of young, I guess, male and female who wants to get into the hip hop industry. Mm -hmm. What type of advice would you get give them with the expertise that you have? I ain't saying I'm no expertise, but to be honest, like you can't give up. You know, you can't give up, and and you gotta stay. You gotta stay in somebody. You gotta stay in people's face. Somebody always needs to see you doing something, and when people start seeing you doing something, eventually somebody gonna pick up on it. You know what I'm saying? Even if you got thirty friends, thirty fans, if you weren't doing that, you ain't had no thirty fans. Okay. So you know, but if you crawl, somebody goes. You got thirty here, thirty people tell another thirty. You know, that's sixty. And so I just feel like it'll all add up if you keep on working. So I just tell, I would say, don't be discouraged and and don't don't never let nobody tell you you can't do it because a lot most of the time the people who are telling you can't do it, they can't do it. Correct. So they tell you you can't do it. So you just gotta uh, just just pay attention and, and and just and believe in yourself. Yeah. And that's one of the things that I want to probably ask you next is the haters. I know you got a lot of haters out there who. <laughs> Who, who really want you to fail. What do you say to this haters or how do you handle those haters that's out there that's wanting to see you not succeed? I don't really got nothing to say to them. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, just let me succeed. Let me let me be great. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, if you're doing something, I'm going to support you. I don't really expect nobody to hate on me, but I know they will. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I just, you know, I don't think I do is just try to stay out the way because if I'm, if you if you're a hater, and I choose to just keep on being around you, then I'm asking to get hated on. But if I can't help it, I'm just gonna try to distance myself from it. Cause you know, at the end of the day, you know, I, it's like if you feel like you got a, if you feel like you got a, somebody competing with you, and you're not really competing, you know what I mean? Why stay around with somebody who who you already know don't want to see you win? So it's like it's a lot of times I just stay out, I just stay in my own zone. I feel like. The best place for me to be is in the studio or in front of a camera. So, you know what I mean? Because right now, me going out around around other people, <clears throat> I don't really feel like they really care if I win. So, therefore, I, I distance myself and, and put myself in different different spaces where I don't really got to worry about the hate as much. So, that's just what I do. But it's you, know, you can't stop that. You know? can't stop it, huh? Mm -mm. That's reality. <clears throat> yeah. Now, now Slimmy, I know you also are, you're a hip hop artist. Uh, not only a hip hop artist, you're a host of a TV show. Yes, sir. Tell the audience a little bit about that, cause you, got, okay. you seem to be multi-talented. Yeah. Oh yeah, okay, well we got one show, it's called Street Credit TV. And that's like, well, we, we'll go out in the public, you know, and we talk to people, we interview people about day-to-day -day life, things that, things that people might do crazy that they, I don't know, just like all kind of stuff. We talk about relationships, you know, what would a woman tolerate, what would a man tolerate. You know, we talk to college kids because they the next generation, so you got to talk to them because we, that's who that's who going to be running the, running the next, especially if they're in college. You know, they got, the, got a head on their shoulder. So we just talk to them and see what's going on. And, you know, we go downtown, talk to people like, you know what I'm saying, you could be homeless or anything. We were like, you know, would you like to talk? You know, we just don't put no camera on you, but if they want to talk, then, you know, whatever happens after that, you know, if they agree, then we'll talk and they get to tell their story, you know, and, you know, it's just, it's just fun. That was just, that's for the street credit TV. So, you know, just going out and about in the public and um, just talking to, pe talking to the world. And then the show, I'm just saying, it's about relationships. And I really, myself, I really learned a lot from this, uh, from from this show myself because I got a a, a co-host her name Tasha Marie so okay. when she's talking she's speaking from the females and so she be saying stuff to me and I'm looking like the way I might see it and she'll come at me and I'm like oh that ain't that was real you know what I mean so it's like I'm learning in the process and then I might say something to her Correct. and you know so it's like we be on that real argue like she be coming from my neck you know can't <laughs> a man can't really argue with no woman but I be trying you know what I mean I be trying to hold it for the men but I be getting beat. <laughs> so, but it's so, a great show though. What, <laughs> what inspired you to want to be a TV host? Uh, I'm gonna be honest, man. I really didn't. It was just, um, I, I had went to school one time, 
and um, and there was a dude in the class, and I was just cracking jokes, and he was like, "What are we gonna do with him?" And he was like, "We gonna put him on TV," and you know what I'm saying? So I was just laughing like, "Oh yeah, that's cool." And then I, we go out for uh, we go out for lunch, and he was like, "Man, I want you to be on the show." I'm like, "Yeah, I'll be on that. What you want me to do?" He was like, "I want you to, I want you to host it." I said, "Oh, you want me to host it? Like I'm on there all the time?" And then he was like, "Yeah, I want you to do it all the time." And from then on, it's probably like, been like maybe like. 10 years maybe, you know what I'm saying, okay. we was doing it. So yeah, but I really, it just came upon it. And after that I did it and I started having fun. So that's how that happened pretty much. But yeah, so, I like it. So what do you like most about it? Cause I mean, this the actual being in front of that camera or the, you know what I'm saying? The, the what's, what's the, what do you feel? What makes slim, you know what I'm saying? What you get up to that level? I like, okay, I'm a clown. Like when I'm around my friends, I'm always clowning. So therefore, when I'm in front of the camera, it's like, I be like, what can I say entertaining to make these people laugh? You know what I mean? Like if you can make somebody laugh, then they, they can be your, they'll be your best friend just because they can have a bad day and they, you make them laugh, now they like you. So I, li I like making people laugh. That's the best thing about it. Okay, so I mean, we're gonna take a break. Audience, we're gonna take a break. We'll be right back. Thank you. That's a side chick, you don't, right. you don't gotta communicate too much to them because they already know because you already done talked to them. Well, you, you know, as a woman, these are my requirements. This is the, these are the things I require, oh, and yeah. I don't ask for too much. Oh, yeah. I'm not, you know, I'm not one of those hard women to like please. But with what I'm requiring out of you being my spouse or somebody that I'm considering marriage with, yeah, I right. mean, this is the basic stuff. You know, you it's know, the simple stuff. So I. I mean, maybe they just weren't able to do it. You know, maybe they wanted to do it, maybe, but maybe they just weren't able to do it. Maybe they knew that man, where they couldn't do it in the first place, but they was like, I'm just not ready to let it go, so I'm going to ride out till I can't ride out no more. But, or uh, maybe they, you know, maybe they just, shh, that rough. It is a rough situation. What's up, world? This is Great Credit TV. We back. You know what I mean? Got our new season going on. What's up, world? We walking downtown. We trying to find some people to interview. You know what I mean? We got some dollars and we gonna be like five questions for five dollars. Any question you ask, we gonna give you a dollar for every question. You know what I mean? So we just about to go around here, world, and see, ask some crazy questions and, and some real questions and see what we get. You know what I mean? Don't worry about what's in my cup. It's my cup. Mess with the family member? Yeah, he need to be home. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh -uh. All right, okay, yeah, damn. You see how, see how things get deep? This thing get deep right here on Street Credit. And we're back. Welcome to the show. My guest, Slimmy. How you doing, bro? All right, Slimmy, that was you on that show. Tell the audience a little bit about how do you feel when you get out there in, in that community and get to those different topics? Man, it'd be fun because it's like when you go, you meet so many different personalities and, and they'd be like, when you put, walk up on it, they be like, is this really true? You know what I mean? Like, we ain't even really seen nobody do this before. So you be like, yeah, this is really true. Especially when you with the college kids. They be like, they be all in because to them it's fun. And then they be like, a lot of times the college kids, they be, they, be, they be hungry. So they don't really, you know, money be short sometimes. So when we walk up to them and be like, hey, I got five questions and I give you $5. They just like, well, show me the $5 first. I'm like, well, I'm not, to steal. I'm not about to steal $5 from you. So you show them the $5 and you start asking the questions. So they definitely be, it'd it be fun. And the questions that we ask, we make sure that we ask them fun questions because we don't want them to be bored. But we also be, we also ask questions where they have to think. And then sometimes the questions be real. They be like, man, that's, that's a real question. Like something that they probably never even thought about, you know, and, you know, and life after college, you know what I mean? So we just ask a lot of, a lot of stuff, but we try to make it, make it fun. You know, so therefore when we come back, we came, we came back down again. It was like, oh, we have to see y'all again. So it, it feel good, man, definitely. Especially when you're dealing with the, t with the youth. You know? right. So how does the audience, how are we able to <clears throat> see more of Slummy on TV? Um, I got, um, we on Street Credit TV, you know what I'm saying? We on YouTube, Street Credit TV. And then, you know, my name's Slimmy, so I'm on, I'm on YouTube. It's Slimmy on YouTube. I got, I, I got music on I. 